Hey guys, what's up? It's Steve Reno here, and I'm very excited to come to you today with the second episode of my all-new series, Shooting the Shit. Now, before I even get started with the topic of the day, I just want to make a real quick announcement that I'm sure you guys are going to be quite excited about. Um, over the last little while, I've had a lot of people sending me inbox messages saying, Hey Steve, is there any way you can help me gain some exposure to my channel? And, you know, I never know how to respond to that because... You know, it's just impossible to only help out one of you without helping out all the rest of you guys. So I've come up with an idea that I think you guys are going to like and an idea that I really like. And the way this is going to work is for all of these shooting the shit videos that I put out, I'm going to allow you guys in the comments section to vote for a channel of the week. Um, the way this will work is all you have to do is whenever I put out a shooting the shit video, you just type in channel of the week and then type in a name of a channel that you think deserves to be the channel of the week. Now, the rules for this are that it can't be a channel that's, you know, really big on YouTube. It has to be, you know, one of the underdogs, someone who's trying to grow their channel. And I highly recommend that you guys get your friends to vote for you because the more comments I see, the more likely I am to check out your channel. So yeah, just get your friends involved and, you know, be sure to comment on these videos. Um, obviously, I still want you guys to comment to me and, you know, I want to have our little conversations. But just make sure that if you're trying to get your channel noticed that you do put in there somewhere channel of the week and, you know, make a vote for who you think it should be. So I hope you guys like that idea. I think it's going to be great for all of you. It's going to be great for me. It might help me get some more exposure. Um, I just think it's a win-win situation. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. But anyways, moving along, time to get to the topic of the day. Now in this episode, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite hobbies ever, video games. Now, for those of you who don't know already, I'm 28 years old, and what that means is I've seen many things in my days. I've seen the rise of the internet, I've seen the invention of the gas-powered fuel cell, but more importantly, I've witnessed the evolution of video games. Now, some of the oldest video games that I ever played were on this old DOS computer that I had in my house, and... You know, these games are all old educational games, but I still remember them being a lot of fun. Uh, but I have to say, the first time I ever really got excited about a video game was probably when I started to play 8-bit Nintendo. And, you know, I used to play Mario all the time, I used to play Duck Hunt. Uh, it was just... Th that was basically the beginning of video games for me, you know? That was when games started to get really exciting. Um, you know, I remember soon after that, my dad came home from work one day with a copy of the original Doom, and that was just it for me. Like, when that game came out, me and my buddy were playing that almost every day. We, we probably beat it like a thousand times, but that was just like the beginning of SPS games for us. Um, after that, I kind of went back and played Wolfenstein and, you know, started to play a lot of these classic games that you guys have probably never even heard of. But yeah, th those were just awesome days for me. Um, I think a couple years later, when video games started to develop a bit more, I started to play some of the older Call of Duty games and some of the Medal of Honor games. And those were all sort of based on World War II. So those games were a lot of fun. Um, I also used to play a lot of Unreal Tournament, which was pretty cool, you know, it was basically, it was, it was one of the first online games that I started to play, so I really liked that a lot, and then eventually one of my favorite games ever came out, and that was Half-Life. Now, Half-Life to this day is still my favorite game. And one thing that actually made Half-Life so awesome for me was when Counter-Strike came out. Now, I'm sure a lot of you people know Counter-Strike. I'm sure you've heard of it or some of you might have played it. But when that game came out, I basically just played it every day. Uh, back in those days, I didn't really have a full-time job. I was still in high school. I worked at some part-time job. So I could play that game as much as I wanted, and I used to be amazing at that. Like, I just practiced the crap out of that game, and I was so good at it. So that was kind of 
those were kind of my heydays for video games. Um, a little bit later after that, I started to play uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4. And when that came out, that was awesome. I had that on my computer. And that was kind of the, the first game in the new era of Call of Duty games. Um, you know, nowadays I'm kind of... I have to say I'm a little bit bored with the Call of Duty games because I don't feel like they've changed all that much, but I still like them. I mean, I, I'm sure I'd give some of those games a try, but I just, I think with the whole uh, Battlefield thing, you know, I've, I've really got into Battlefield, and I, I think it's because there's so much more going on. There's so many vehicles, and there's just so many options of what you can do in these games, so... This is kind of where I'm at right now. This is a game that I love, but, you know, I've I've played so many different games in my days. Uh, I used to be obsessed with SimCity 2000. I was so good at building cities. Uh, I was also really good at The Sims, and, you know, I one of the things I enjoyed so much about that game was actually building the houses. I mean, it was fun to create the families and all that, but, you know, it was just awesome building those houses. So that was one game that I really enjoyed. Um, I used to play Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2, which was kind of a Star Wars game. So yeah, that was one of the games I really enjoyed. And yeah, I think that's, that's a pretty decent history of all the games that I used to play. Um, I'm sure there's so many other games that I can't even think of right now. But yeah, basically... I just love my video games. I, I can't lie. I really do enjoy video games. I don't think I'm ever going to outgrow video games. They're just a lot of fun. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say. I, I'm interested to know what video games you guys grew up playing because perhaps I've played some of those games. I don't know. But, yeah, it'd be great to hear what games you guys played growing up. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, be sure to mention in the comment section who you think should be next week's uh, channel of the week. And hopefully I will give them a shout out in next week's video. So without further ado, I'm going to present to you guys this week's channel of the week. This week's channel of the week goes to Mr. Radom Cupcack. Now, I don't even know if I pronounce his name right, but he was actually the first place winner in the art contest that I had a while ago, and because he lives so far away, I couldn't actually ship him a painting, so we kind of came up with an agreement that I would just feature his channel and feature his deviant art page. Um, he's a great artist, I think you guys will all love his work, so I highly recommend you check it out, maybe leave him a nice comment, and yeah. He's basically the channel of the week. So, yeah, be sure to put in your submissions for next week's channel of the week and be sure to support Mr. Radham. All right, take it easy, guys. Peace.